Hi guys! It seems I did not finish my super granulating watercolors from Schminke. I have been making them myself. I bought the single pigments and at first, at the beginning, I was thinking I would just make a couple of them. So these are the colors which I had at the beginning and these are the ones that I made from those colors. If you are interested about that, you can check my other video. I will put it in the description. And I had so much fun doing that that I decided I will also do the other colors from other sets. And then I continued and did the other sets which were missing. So, but my colors were all over the place. So I had from depending on which single pigments I had, that's how I was making those colors. So if you are interested in these colors, I will put the link in the description. But I right now noticed that I stopped at that, even though I made all the colors, as you can see here, I did not film it. So um, I decided I will do the swatch of the two missing sets. So there are two more sets which I made. Uh, that is the Desert set and the Shire set. So I'm gonna swatch now those ones. And hopefully after I finish the swatching, I will be able to find my notes where I wrote um, the ratios which I used. You see, it was such a good thing that I wrote them here because right now I cannot remember at all what I mixed there. But I hope I will be able to find it. So after I do the swatch, uh, at the end, I will write all the pigments and ratios that I used. So if you want to make them yourself, you can do it. So let's just start with the swatching.
so here is the complete desert set and i am actually missing one of the shire set i thought i made all of them but i see that i'm missing the shire blue i will have to make this one and i will have to make that shire blue additionally uh, but let's take a look at these ones uh, what do we have here in the desert set we have desert yellow which is actually a nice color you have some hint of the brownish coming through this is the desert orange well it's okay color not really my favorite one uh, desert brown it is pretty pale then we have the desert green oh this one is so nice there is this pr106 coming through which looks really nice and we have the desert gray and with the desert gray i'm not sure if you can see that but there is yellow coming through all over the place which is also really nice and now if we come to the shire set this one is the <laughs> palest one i would say uh, it does not really stand out uh, i think so this one these colors would be nice probably for the leaves and some forests but they are really pale so what we have here this is shire yellow well yes of course you can put more of the color down so you will get a richer color on the paper if you go a couple of times over this uh, place but you see if you are just putting one layer this is how it looks like uh, pretty pale and then we have shire olive that's this one it's okay and then we have the shire green here we really have this yellow coming through and the green is also visible what i'm missing is the shire blue i really thought that i made all of them but the shire blue is missing and this one is the shire gray ah this one is really nice it's made of three pigments and there is like you see blackish, bluish, yellowish color, so it really looks nice. Um, yeah, now I'm gonna write all the pigments you can, so you can see that and... So this is the whole desert set and this is the Shire set with one color missing. So guys, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!